tricking them. And check it out now. Troubling times for the six. Now, I got to keep it 100 with y'all. A newspaper out of Toronto, I believe it's the Star. They reached out to me over the weekend, actually before the weekend. They said, listen, academics, we need some quotes from you, okay? Basically, Drake is tied to a bunch of goons, criminals, felons, and basically a bunch of, like, scums in society. That's that's basically what they were trying to say. Okay, now, listen, I quickly realized it was a hit piece, and also I kind of understand the situation a little bit more. So I declined to comment and really take part in that, but they ran the story anyway. But the story is really highlighting that, listen, Drake, who is a lovable figure in Toronto, he has a key to the city, he's an ambassador to the Raptors, okay? He has some unscrupulous figures around him, okay? Baca, which, by the way, he got a hot song right now. It's called, like, Live Up To My Name. But Baca is a guy who was accused of in jail for some serious shit, okay, including human trafficking, all right? He got other friends. He brought press on tour, the Boy Meets World tour. A lot of people criticize that, and they're saying, why would you bring... That person on tour with you when they're charged with such serious offenses. So a lot of people were raising an eyebrow at Drake then. But it goes even further because his friend that just died, they're saying, yo, he has had like multiple like gun convictions. What's up with that? Okay. But all in all, man, basically they're looking at Drake and they're saying, what the fuck is going on? Why is Drake around criminals? Okay. Now, here's the thing. Because I don't know exactly what's going through Drake's mind or the people around him and his associates. But this is where Drake is going to realize he can't play both sides. You can't be the lovable figure who's hosting an NBA fashion show and you're the guy who's smiling and kissing babies and hanging out with real savages. Okay, again, listen, in rap, unfortunately, and this is very unfortunate because it happens in, in not only rap but even like dancehall. That's how a nigga named Vibes Cartel got caught up. You got to keep yourself close to the streets, even if you as pop as Drake. Drake comes from Toronto, okay? Again, I'm not going to speak ill on that city, but it's not like Chicago when it comes to a murder rate. But, of course, there's real niggas everywhere. Nigga got to keep close to the streets, okay? He got to have people. And, by the way, Drake was robbed himself in Toronto. So Drake got to keep close to the streets. And, of course, the people who have empowered Drake can kind of make Drake like a a, a representative and a figurehead for not only tourism, but just overall for music and culture in Toronto. They kind of looking at it like we don't like the people you're hanging out with. Not to mention, Drake was asked to tweet out, hey, listen, if you saw anything about this murder, please come forward. Drake ain't tweeting out a motherfucking thing. Drake also said on his song, no telling. Listen, police come around looking for help on a case. We ain't helping. All right? Now, again, Drake is at this point, man, where he's going to realize that his associates will drag him into problems. The way how he's going to straddle that line and still keep this goody two-shoe image and still be able to do the things he does but still have the affiliation that he does, we'll see how he does that, but... The reason why I didn't comment, and some of y'all might be like, why don't you just like give the, the comment, right? The, the reason I didn't comment is that a nigga like Drake, who been in street beef, he got to keep himself close to the streets, okay? Now, a lot of people might just say he got to get security. And, of course, he has security. But when you get to the point where Drake is at, you almost have to keep a couple street niggas in your pocket. It sounds counterintuitive, but, again, no man is a motherfucking island. No matter how many security you got, You moving around, there's people plotting on you, there is all type of shit going on around. Also, you want to remain authentic and close to the communities that you come from. You got to be around some of these people. And not to mention, a lot of the times, talent actually comes from a lot of these places where the government wouldn't want you to be at. Okay, listen, man, the most talented people have come from the worst areas. Okay, that's usually the case, at least in music, all right? So again, like I've done a story about when people gave him backlash about his affiliation with Baca, they're looking at him with his affiliation with the guy who just died fifth, but they're also looking at him even more to say, yo, you're not really going hard for this anti-violence thing. You're not going really hard for, hey, cooperate with the cops. And Drake, not a street dude, and he's not a street rapper, but clearly there's some shit going on there where He's not that cooperative, and again, you got to realize Drake himself been robbed, okay? Drake been robbed, and, and Drake keep a couple street niggas on, on deck. Whatever you want to make of that, you make of that, but because I don't know too much about Toronto culture and Toronto street culture and shit, 
I mean, you could be naive and say these guys just happen to be really good friends of Drake, but because I don't know too much about that, I decline to comment on that, okay? You guys can make about it what you want. Listen, most of these guys who are either pop stars, if you're in rap, you got some street niggas around. They might be not around you every day, but you got some around because sometimes shit needs to be handled, all right? Get in the comments, which you guys like them, subscribe. Drake is coming under fire because he's not that cooperative with police. He's not that cooperative with spreading the message of anti-gun violence or encouraging people to come forward, especially in light of his friend's death. And people in Toronto, they are starting to worry and starting to start. They're starting to talk like, yo, is Drake on some other shit? Or is he the guy who we always thought he was? Get in the comments, which you guys like, and subscribe to Academics. I'm out.